As the network needs of data centers continue to grow, speeds of 40G and 100G are becoming commonplace to accommodate user expectations. But the upgrade is not without its challenges. As server uplinks move to 10G, access and leaf switches must be able to aggregate this traffic and send it to the next layer of switching without creating bottlenecks, or worse, adding latency. The solution requires 40G or 100G uplinks to connect to the next layer of switching, and for that, a fiber infrastructure that allows simple migration from 10G to 40 or 100G is essential. Comscope can help with the Instapatch 360 pre-terminated cabling solution. It starts with the server cabinets, which are often cabled to access or leaf switches in nearby cabinets. Fiber panels connect these switches to the next layer of switching with structured fiber cabling based on MPO connectors. Instapatch 360 sets design limits for the supported distance for a given application based on the number and type of intermediate connectors and the type of fiber being used. Let's take a look at how this might play out. To upgrade to 40G base SR4 over laser speed 550OM4 fiber based on two MPO connectors, the supported distance is 170 meters, which exceeds the distance defined by the standards. Unlike other solutions that require multiple types of trunk cords, Instapatch 360 trunks and modules are configured with the globally adopted method B polarity, which makes the upgrade process easy and straightforward. This switch uplink changes from a 10G base SR serial duplex link to a 40G base SR4 parallel link. Once the optics in the switch have been upgraded, the LC duplex patch cord is replaced with an MPO patch cord. The 40G base SR4 port on the switch includes an MPO connector interface. This transceiver is a pinned device, requiring the MPO patch cord to be unpinned on the equipment end. Upgrades from serial 10G to parallel 40 or 100G are simple with Instapatch 360. First, remove the LC cord. Next, remove the Instapatch 360 module and disconnect the MPO trunk. Replace the Instapatch 360 module with an Instapatch MPO distribution panel. Clean the trunk connector and insert the trunk connector into the rear of the MPO adapter. Next, either secure the MPO distribution panel into the shelf or for 40G base SR applications and other four lane applications, the Instapatch 360 2x3 MPO module may be deployed allowing you to repurpose the four spare fibers in each 12-strand trunk cable. This allows three 40G base SR4 links to operate over a single 24-fiber trunk cable. It adds an additional MPO connection to the link, which will require verification of the application's design allowance. Finally, simply attach the MPO patch cord between the adapter panel and the active equipment. Transceivers are always pinned, as are the interfaces in Instapatch modules. Trunks are typically unpinned, so array patch cords must be ordered correctly. In cases where the polarity method is different than method B, additional steps are necessary to ensure the successful upgrade from serial to parallel. Some array polarity solutions require multiple polarity components in the link to assure traffic flow. This is Instapatch 360. This is simple. This is Comscope.